More voices want justice served and not delayed in the numerous rape and murder cases Nigeria has recorded in recent days. Another group of concerned Nigerians, mostly women, took to the streets and converged on the Lagos Police Command to declare a state of emergency on the epidemic called sexual and gender-based violence. Sirayeko was there. In four girls and one in ten boys go through the horrifying experience of being sexually abused in Nigeria. That's according to a report by the United Nations Children Fund in 2015. Since the lockdown in March 2020, Action Aid Nigeria has recorded 253 cases of gender-based violence in Bochi, Cross River, Enugu, Kebi and Kwara states. But the reported cases of sexual violence and murder of girls and young women in Nigeria in less than a month shows that there are more cases than the data recorded. This protest against sexual and gender-based violence is not the first or the last we will see on the streets of Lagos and across Nigeria. This march and anger is directed at the Nigeria Police Force. The stories of rape and sexual harassment are all too familiar, but it seems justice is rarely served on perpetrators. What is your number? Who are you to ask anybody in pain? What she's doing there? Justice is not just ice. This station has somebody. Somebody who will usually ask questions. Please let the come and ask us why we are here. It took the police about 15 minutes to come out and address the protesters. Standing under the crushing sun to shout will not solve the problem. Very unfortunate because the DCP admin that came to address us, Officer Etim, has validated all the concerns that we have about police attitudes towards women. He was very defensive, he was very abrasive, there was no empathy in his voice. We're asking for an understanding that there's a problem. So I'm really very upset. Not only upset about the issue, but upset that the person representing the police in Lagos State has acted in a manner that validates why we have a problem. Nigeria's criminal code recommends life imprisonment for those convicted of rape and 14 years for attempted rape. The names of Nigerian women and girls that have been sexually harassed and killed in the past weeks keeps resonating from the social media to the streets. But it also echoes the names of those that are not known that have been killed by the culture of silence. The people are hoping that in days to come, justice will be served. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos.